That power and authority is a gift to the sons. Is a gift. But it is also locked up in various realms in the heavens. And we can only access them by our maturity in our soul realm. As we grow and mature in the word of the Lord. Our soul. That is why we have crisis in the body of Christ. Little thing you are offended. Because the soul is not matured. The soul has not grown into the place of sonship. How can Jesus pray for somebody and also tell the person, don't share this thing with anybody? Go. I thought that the ministry is I pray for a blind or the cripple, and the next thing is that I should put it on billboard and announce it. But I saw the nature of Christ. That he was not looking for publicity. He he, after praying for them and they are healed, what does he do? He sends them away. Go, go. Go, go, go. He sends them away. Ah. And this is what happens to some of us when we pray for people and they are healed and they leave and we're offended. You don't understand that God is saving you from what will kill you. Because your soul will begin to take the position of, I am the one that did this. So I deserve the credit. Your soul. Your soul. I was talking to some of, we were discussing with God Savan this morning. And we're saying something. And uh, there's a song we used to sing. I surrender all to you. You're looking for trouble. Everything, everything I give. To you with hope, and I always ask you, I want to open the gates of your emotions, I want to tamper with your will, your will, your will, and your will is where you where you have your strongest decision. That you don't pull back the will. And there are certain things in our will that is not in alignment with his will that he wants you to submit. Jesus was going to the cross and he asked the disciple, Can you pray with me? Just pray with me. He pulled out from the 12, he pulled three away from the nine. He said, Just be here. Can you just pray with me? And he left that position and went a little bit further. And he prayed for one hour. By the time he came back, he saw them sleeping. He woke them up. I said, please, can't you pray with me? And what was his prayer point? My father, if it is your will, can you take this cup away from me? He said, but not my, not my, That was where he died. The death at the cross was begun from there. That was where he died. How long have you been with him? When an oak seed is planted, it, it travels down to the earth for a long time. It is not seen. By the time it will rise, it will leave other trees. Whose lifespan is 10 years. How deep are you with him? So Jesus does not want to release men that have not been with him. 
Because if you, be, if you have been with me, him, you will know his language. You will understand his culture. You will understand his lifestyle. You will know when he's telling you what to do until you have been with him and your, and your sorrow is conquered by his word and by his presence and personality. You cannot represent him sufficiently. You can't. Some of us are humble right now. Power has not been given to you. You want to know the vulnerability of men? Give them power. Give them authority. Some of them you didn't know. Some of them you will not know that there are issues of pride. Issues of ambition. And Jesus does not want to really relinquish power to people who have not been with him. I'm not saying that you are I'm not saying 10 years. You see, you count your years. And Jesus counts the day you came in alignment. That is when it starts. For you is years. For him is when you came into alignment to what he's saying. And you are ready to be there. Just be there. Just be there. Just be there. Just be there. How can the savior of the world, who is, who is to save the nations of the earth and man and all, he is held back for 18 years and walk as a carpenter with his, with his step, uh, with his foster father, Joseph, was working as a carpenter, submitted to the leadership of that man, worked as a carpenter. He knew that the day he was born to save the nations, but he, for 18 years, he was held back until the fullness of the training. After 18 years, he was summoned to go to the wilderness for another training. Another training. Where he will learn what it means to be hungry. Where he will learn what it means to walk in scarcity. Where he will learn what it means to trust in the Lord. Where he will learn what it means to depend completely on the Lord. And the Bible says for 40 days and 40 nights. It was not Satan that sent him to the wilderness. It was, he didn't go to fast to conquer Satan. He went to fast. He went there so that everything that has to do with it, any personal thing, contrary to what God is sending him, he wants to deal with it. 40 days and 40 nights. After the 40 days and 40 nights, he was not hungry. And the devil came to him and said, I thought you are the son of God. Now that you're hungry, can you command these stones to become bread? That which has been formed in him, that which has been formed in him was now being fetched out. How? He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Man shall not live. What do you live with? What is the thing that governs your psychology or your ideology of life? Is it God's word or human's principle? Is it the ideology of your father's village or house? The things that regulate the civilization of your community? Is it the standard by which you run your Christianity? Have you not seen that this Christianity that we proclaim in Africa, in Nigeria, we self has brought ethnicity, tribalism. Uh -oh. So we say we want to set order. Self is why we have tribalism. We have ethnicity. We have all manner. Everybody that is in the body of Christ is looking for something different from the agenda of the father. He said that they might be with him so that they, that he might, it is a choice. When, when he chooses, when he feels deem for him to send, he may decide to call you and leave you sitting. It doesn't mean that he, that he, that he has not called you. I ask a question. Jesus said he a man has a farm. Has a farm. Has a farm. And employed the first workers in the first hour. 
after the first hour, the second hour, employed. He kept on employing. And each one he employed, he said, look, this is the wages I will pay you. The wages was not different. He employed the last group at the 11th hour. And they just, maybe they just, what they didn't do much compared to those who started from the first hour. And they said, you are impartial. And Jesus now said, didn't we agree on the, on the, on the wages? He said, we agree. He that began from the first hour and he that is received, who just did his own at the last 11th hour, he gave them the same wages. What am I trying to say here? Your alignment is important. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Present your bodies. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. I want to give an example with three people here. Can I have three people who will come up here? Quickly. Bless you. Can you just stand like this and face and face the crowd? Can you be there aside you? You. I want somebody shorter than this man. God oh, bless you. Not as tall as this man. Oh, you are almost the same height. Go back. Look for somebody. I assist anybody. You come. God bless you. Stand here. Body. Soul. Spirit. And this is what makes. This is what makes you. And this is what makes me. Is that not so? If this. If this is the soul, for instance, and this is the body, and the soul refuses to grow, and the expectation of God is that everybody should come to this height, that is the spirit. Am I saying something here now? And this one refuses to rise in knowledge. It's in knowledge. To grow in knowledge and increase in the wisdom of God. Whatever this too is trying to achieve, this will always bring them back. God bless you. Thank you. How long you have been with him? And so Jesus will choose to release you. God decided to begin to show forth his glory and power in the days of Nebuchadnezzar. And it was in the days of darkness. He brought a law. They should worship only one man and pray for 30 days. And, Dave and Daniel decided to pray. And the consequence is that they would throw the person in the, in the days of lion. What do you call testimony? What do you call testimony? They overcame, according to the book of Revelation, him. Eh? By the words of what? And they love not their life. Eh? When an, when it, when an arm robber gives his life to Christ, and he wants to testify, what do you call that? Please answer me. What do you call it? Eh? Testimony. He just gave his life to he just he's an armor he has been killing people he wasting lives is that not so and he just gave his life to christ today eh? and on a crusade ground the evangelist will hand over the microphone for the man to give his life to christ to for the man who has given his life to christ to do what What has it, what will it, what, what is he testifying of? Now I'm asking, what is his encounters and dealing with God that he's testifying about? 
No, I want to ask you, what is his dealing? What are the processes of the school of the spirit that he has undergone with God that that person should stand to testify? Testimony, according to the Hebrew word, means that you are ready to die because of the faith you have in Christ. Am I saying something here? They have been with him. They know they have been with him. Because they have been with him, then he has given them power to cure diseases, to heal the sick. Power and, author- power and authority is a gift. But their functionary is as a result of how our soul has been conquered and renewed. Did you hear what I said? Why will Moses decide to pray for for the children of Israel who sinned against God? And God said, look, these are your people. I will wipe them away. I will just wipe them away. And God now said, Moses said, repent of this wicked thing you want to do. Moses was telling God, you should do what? This wicked thing you want to do, repent of it. God said, no, I, I want to. I want to clear these people and raise from you a generation. He said, that was not the agreement to sign. The agreement to sign is that I should go and bring these people to the promised land. Let's finish that contract. Meekest man. That is meekness. Most of us want power. How many of you want power? To flow in power. You lift your hands and move like this. Power will explode. Uh, I don't think you are ready for it yet. Yet. You want power. You want authority. You want to move in power. You want to move in authority. The power you want to use when you're offended, is it your power? The power you want to use when you are insulted, is it your power? We saw them flogged the people, flogged the disciples, the apostles, they flogged them. And the Bible said they came back to their company and said, and rejoiced. Eh? We didn't see them say, fall down by fire. Be roasted by fire. Be consumed by thunder. We release earthquake, tornado, hammer. We release wind. Kali komakaya, tsunami. Ikota kaibana. Have they not read? Touch not my anointed. You want to use power? And your soul is a child. That is why you cannot be entrusted. And so God wants to school you through the school of the spirit to go through the gate of suffering. One of the things that brings the anointing is five spices that is mixed together. They are plants, five plants, five of them. They will pound it in the presence of God. Not outside his presence, in his presence. They will pound it until oil comes out. You want, you want power? You need to be pounded. You are looking for power? You are looking for authority? You want to change the nations of the earth? You need to go into his presence to be pounded. Our soul is why we betray one another. Our soul has not been redeemed. That is why we have competition. In the, in the body, in the church, we have competition. People are competing with one another. Somebody is operating in the gift of word of knowledge or in the gift of prophecy or in the, or in the gift of miraculous. And somebody else is not operating in that. And the person feels he's inferior. And because of that, because you, they, they begin to put, they begin to set up that person. My friend, are we not? representing one father i don't know who you want to work for i don't know what what whether you are called for another gospel but if it is the gospel that jesus died for you need to be in his presence until he is through with you many of us want uh, i'm sorry what will bring revival is when our spirit, our soul has come into maturity and we don't see class. There are people who can never, I've seen people, sir, 
Are you from? I don't want to call tribes so that you won't feel I'm tribalistic. Are you? You are not from our area. The mother was, and the mother is an, a deacon in the church, and the father is an elder. He said, "Our daughter can marry you." because we want her to marry from our place because when they go to heaven there is the heaven in heaven they have their own community of their town and their tribes of their place the politics in the world started in the church we are the one who started it the tribalism we started it the ethnicity we started it some of us don't know the story of the major churches in, in Nigeria, how they were formed. One of the major churches in, in this country, sir, how was it formed? Started in, in the northern part. I don't want to call the name of the state. Started in the northern part. The, the, is the woman that started that church. And she went to, uh, to the U.S. to go and study. By the time she returns back, the associate pastor gang up with the members, drove her away, and that is how the man has colonized that church. And out of it, and put a bar that certain people from other tribes can never be made bishop in that church. Ethnicity. Tribalism. Because our soul is still a child. We are still looking for our own personal issues. We are still looking for what will excite us. We're still looking for how they will be playing drums for us and we'll be dancing Makosa. And so, guard your hearts for out of it are the issues of life. You want power? You want authority? How many of you has been, how many of you have been beaten on the account of the gospel? Show me your scar. On the account of the gospel. John the Baptist. His revelation and manifestation. Was not in the church. Was not in the synagogue. Who was cooking for him? Who fed him? If it is you and I. We will not do that ministry. Others are driving. In those days chariot was the limousine. Limousine. Chariot was the limousine. That was the limousine. Chariot. And his best was what? Eh? Leather. Skin of animal was his best clothes. He doesn't have a house. And yet, his first audience was animals. By the time he started, men left the city. As he started shouting, Repent! For the kingdom of God is at hand. People left Kafayas, Kafayas, left Anas, left the city and began to come to a man in the wilderness. Go and be cooked. The revival that is coming is not for people who, whose mind, whose soul is, is, is a child. It's for those who, whose soul is yielded to him. The Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 13, the Bible said something there. He said, it is given unto you to know, to know, to know that means to come in, in intimacy, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them that are without, it is not given. And what it means this, that the word of the Lord is like a seed. He said, as the sower was sowing it, he was sowing it in Four types of hearts. The one, the first heart is the wayside. That does not care about anything about God. The wayside. That is the heart. It drops there. It didn't germinate. It didn't bear fruit. The second heart is the stony ground. It started bringing on food. But because it didn't have, it didn't, it had no yielded completely to the Lord. That seed also died. Was choked up because of the heat of the sun. The next one fell on a thorny place. It was choked up. It couldn't be a result. 
But so for the last one, the fourth one, fell on a good ground. He said, and the first increase was hundredfold. The next increase was 60. The next one was 30. Now listen, what does that mean? It means if you open your heart and say, Lord, all of my heart and everything that has to do with the gate of my soul, I bring them under your government and leadership and I renew their life through your word to, to complete, to, to become an instrument you will use to do your purpose, then it means 100% will begin to come forth because you have opened forth your heart first, 100%. If you bring yours 60, then 60 will be open. If you bring it at 30%, then 30%. It, the Bible says that they that come unto the Lord come unto me and you shall find rest. So your coming determines the measure you're coming. If you are coming with half, half will be open. You're coming. We are not to fight or ask or to contend. He said, it is given to you as a son to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It is given. We cannot continue with the error of soulish Babylonian system and structure of government in the body of Christ. Jesus didn't die for certain group of people and tribes and others are not recognized. His blood was shed for all human race. Did you hear what I just said? How matured is your soul will determine how God will use you. How matured is your soul? I bring this to the last time, point. A man called Simon the Seer or Simon the Sorcerer gave his life as Philip went to Samaria to preach. Is that not so? As he went to Samaria to preach. The Bible says he has used witchcraft and sorcery to bewitch the people. And the Bible says they believe that he is a man that is using the power of God. What he was doing, they said, this is the power of God. It's come, the source is God. Hi. Who can doubt it? It's God. But when Philip came and ministered, the Bible said he came and preached Christ. He didn't come and preach himself. He came and preached who? That he has been with so, your message and your lifestyle as a Christian, when we wait, we will know who you have been with. Simon the sorcerer was with somebody who gave him the technology to keep Samaria under his, under his control. He had, power, he had power to will anything at his disposal. The people obeyed him. But the Bible says, when, it's, when Philip the, the, the deacon, Philip the deacon, Philip the deacon, the rest was history. And when it was reported to Jerusalem, to the elders of the council, that Samaria has now been conquered for the Lord, the entire city has given their life to Christ, demons were crying out from people, the Bible says that Peter and the rest of the apostles went. Some of the apostles went. To confirm. And they said, those that were not baptized with the Holy Ghost began to pray for them. And when Simon the sorcerer saw that, people began to speak in tongues. By the laying off of hands from Peter, he went and met Peter. He said, how much will this thing be sold for? This is my money. I need it. I need it. Peter said to him, perish. It means that that is the state of some people. They are in church because they want to use God to achieve their purpose. 
Do you have message translation of Matthew 7? Where the Bible says, It's not all those that call me Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of God. Do you have message translation of it? Please put it on the screen. Who have you been with? Who have you been with? How long have you been with the king? Who have you been with? People have offended you. People have insulted you. People have done all manner of things. I didn't see Jesus fight back. I saw a man that said, Father, forgive them. If you want to defend yourself, God will allow you. And the extent of that defend is that your, your, your deficiency will be made manifest. It doesn't matter how spiritual you are. On that day, you want to prove that you know something. That day, we will know the capacity. We will see your height, your breadth, your length, and your depth. Consigning the one you claim you know, it will be it will be revealed. Our soul, the mind is the engine that runs the soul. Who is in charge of your soul? How have you submitted it unto the Lord? Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three to seven. I'll soon be running up. <laughs> yes. Although we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? So carnality is rooted where? I didn't hear you. Uh, you're not saying something. Where? In the soul. Canality. But mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Stronghold there. This stronghold, what's he talking about? What's he addressing? Is he addressing principalities and powers? Yeah? Uh-uh. So we in the days, in the days that there was insufficient wisdom and knowledge. We use that scripture to deal with principalities and powers. How many of you have prayed? How many of you were there in those days? Don't in those days. In those days. We used it. Every strong goal in your father's house. What are you waiting for now? Before I open my eyes and close it, you have famous. That is not what he's addressing. The, princip- the, 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 the stronghold that will not allow God to be revealed in your life. That w- Satan is not your enemy. Your major enemy is you. Deal with you. Then Satan, Satan is empowered by the way you allow him because of some things that belongs to him that you have, that you have allowed to come into you. These things belong to him. But you took it and allowed them inside of you. So Satan comes to say, I was, I was on my own. I was invited. Yes. Casting down what? Imagination is where? It's in the soul. It's one of the gates of the soul. Casting down what? And every high thing that exalted itself against what? And bringing into captivity every and thought is where? In the soul. So this is where there is, that, that, that is where we have problem here. Until people are discipled in this place, we will not produce Spirit Christians will not produce spirit powerful men and women of God who will take territories for the Lord. As long as there are strongholds, strongholds in your mind, your imagination has been captured by strong issues. 
ambition and pride. Some young men that are leaders in, in school that now they want to be called Papa. You are running a fellowship. You want to be called Papa. What is your experience? You want to carry title. Hope you are ready for the battle. You want to carry a crown that lions put on their head. Are you ready to confront a lion? You want to be revealed. You want your name to be heard. So, the Bible said that when Jesus ended that issue in the wilderness, angels came and ministered to him we also saw that before he could get back to the city, the Bible says his fame went abroad. Who announced him? Who was the one who carried an amplifier and a speaker and was announcing? Who went and announced Jesus? He has not been known. Only a few people. He has not been known. The high priests, they are there. And other leaders, they are there. The religious leaders of his days, they were there. But suddenly, by the time he has finished the assignment in the wilderness, it's the fullness of time for his manifestation and his showing forth. The Bible says his fame went abroad. Today, we have to amplify a lot of things to make our fame. We have to do a lot of things. One big billboard. The man and his wife. We are all manner of name. Who have you been with? And he gave them that they might go and preach the gospel of the kingdom. Why will some people believe some part of the Bible? And others, it's not, they don't believe it. This is the entire counsel of God. The scripture concerning man. This. Why do we choose some part and believe on some part? There are some pastors who have never preached from the book of Revelation. They don't believe anything there. It is for eschatology. Mm -hmm. There are some who said they are called for only holiness. They have nothing to do with other parts. Am I asking you a question? Why will we carry one part and run another part? They were asking, are you, are you a deliverance minister? Deliverance. Is he a prophet? If you have been with him, the entire council. The entire council. How, how, do you, how have we gotten to this place? How did we get here? Everybody is scheming to be something. If you are in a prayer group, you want to scheme. Somebody is somewhere here. Everybody is scheming. You want to be somewhere. You want to stamp on somebody you want to be recognized you want to be known you want to be approved you want people to praise you you want to be known there was a womb there are two people in the bible sir that we didn't hear anything about their ministry we only saw them towards the end of their ministry Simeon how many congregations does he have Simeon who oh, how many congregations Hannah, Anna, Anna, sorry, rather, Anna. We saw she has been in the, in where? In the, in the temple. Praying for almost 40 something years. And Simeon said, Now I can sleep well, for my eyes have seen the Messiah. Hmm. When shall I appear before you in Zion? When shall I appear before you in Zion? I want to 
see your face. I want to know you more. Just to see your face. And to know you more. I want to see your face. To know you more. I want to see your face. And to know. I want to see and to know you are. I want to see I want to see I want to see your face Lord I want to see I want to see your face. That is why I came to you. I want to see and to know you, my Lord. I want to see your face. Want to know, want to know you. That is why I came to you, Lord. Yahweh, Shiba na kosai ni mana masota na ne, kakwai ni ne mahana na 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 na. Shaba ki ela ne na masaya mane. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. The Bible says in Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see, they shall see God. It means if I fulfill the requirement, listen to me friends, if, if I can fulfill the requirement of being pure, God has no choice but to, be, to reveal himself to me. And I'm not saying when I go to heaven, because the Bible says blessed are the peacemakers here they shall be called the children of the most high the bible says blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth so if it is that way blessed are hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be now if that scripture has to be manifest in this earth then this scripture blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. I want to see your face and to know you my way. See your face. Hey. Yahweh. Shiba ma sotinan kalebo sayanana shayama sayanana ne Sayanane, Sayanane, la Mosanana, Shalabo, Yanana, Shalabo, Shalakayetana, Nane, Oh, 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 Yahweh, 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 Shiba Masuye Tane, na na na, Hila Masela. Lift your voice and begin to pray there. Shila Mosa Yana na Mosa Yana Mani na Mana. Inside and outside, lift your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord. I surrender. Oh, I 
Spirit, bring your mind, bring your your soul, bring your mind, your imagination under the government. to hear praying. I want you to pray. Listen. 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 Those things you call weaknesses. Those things you call infirmities. They are locked up in the soul. They are locked up in the soul. Those things that are habit. Those things that are habit. Those things that are habit. Those things that are that are lifestyle locked up in the soul. Psalm, one on, Psalm 139 said verse, verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Listen, there are some of us here. Satan is not the Satan is not your problem. Your problem is that your mind is locked up. Something has locked up. Your imagination has been overtaken. 
You are locked up in something. The, the character and habits you don't, that is coming out of you is as a result of you giving Satan that place. You gave Satan a place. And that has made the word of God not to have the capacity to penetrate. From conference to conference. From, from minister's conference to minister's conference. From believer's convention to believer's convention. From, you have not seen a shift. But because there are strongholds that have locked up. In your life, in your soul. I want to give a privilege to as many who has, they know the area, they know. You know, it is not something you are not aware, you know that this area is a major area where the enemy has locked you up. I want to give you the privilege to step out here quickly. You know it. Don't step out here if you don't know anything. There is an area in your life, you know that this area, Satan has has, has taken it. You need redemption. You need to call, you need to surrender it. Like you told, I would like you to bring repentance before the king. See your face. Oh, Yamana Kaya Nama Sonate. Can we stand up, those of us here? Please, can you rise up to give? Just rise up so that those who are coming can come forward. This is your moment. This is your moment of liberty. Please address that. Address it. Address it. Is it the area of a boyfriend? Is it the area of a girlfriend? Is it the area of anger? Is it the area of malice? Is it the area of bitterness? Is it the area of ambition? Is it the area of pride? It's time that the Lord will begin to judge and, and set you free from those captivity. Lift your voice and pray here. If you cannot have sex here, lift your hands wherever you are out there. Those of us that cannot come out, lift up your hands and say, Father, this is my season. See your face. Hey. Shabana manana. Please, can you bring those things before the king? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The devil cannot keep you in captivity. Lift your voice and pray. Your mind, your mind. We bring the blood of Jesus. blood of Jesus to begin to carry out a surgery to begin to carry out a surgery let the blood of Jesus carry out a surgery ministers I would like us to pray please there are some members that have offended us there are some people that have spoken things that has gotten to us I would like us to begin to release them there are people who have offended us people who have spoken things there are areas of our lives that we are not seeing sufficient authority. We need to begin to ask the Lord to show mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Ikanama so yele kayana me. Kayane na mo si kayana ne la mo. Aya kayata na makota na na. Kayambo si ala na na manune. Shikaya na kaitano, kaitano, kayala na manonani, ayataya kayataya ya na 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 na. Pray here, pray. This is the day you have been waiting for. Your soul cannot be in bondage. He has come to redeem you by the eternal life of the blood of Jesus. He has come to set you free. Lift your voice and pray here. He has come to redeem you. He said they, 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 that they might be with him and that he will send them. Pray. Please lift your voice and talk to God. This is your moment. This is your moment. Thank 
Kayana masota na na mane. Kriyata na kwata na mane kayata na mana. Ilarata na kwata na masila bada. Kayala baso kayada na masukata na na. Shile barata na kwane na mota de na. Ahani ana na na. Shile bade. Lift your voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and talk to the Lord. Pray. It's time to rise into maturity. Let the Lord begin to bring maturity. Renew in your mind that you will grow maturity. Let the Lord bring me into maturity. Bring me into maturity. Bring me into maturity. That my soul will rise in knowledge. We rise in knowledge in the fear of the Lord. Bring me into maturity. Ababosana kuatande kai katangwa tanda kriata na bosinga hatai ilana. Your soul, your soul, cry out for redemption. Let every form of captivity, every thoughts, imagination, things that is programmed to make sure. That you don't come into God's purpose. I am a quatena mala. Pray. 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 This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. Every, every demon sitting in the cage of your soul. To, to control your life we punish them every spirit holding your soul in bondage we punish them by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray please lift your voice inside and outside inside and outside don't just sit back and look inside and outside. Wherever you are in the world, lift your voice and pray. Lord, redeem my soul. Lord, redeem my soul. Redeem my soul from every, every captivity. And the covenant of Christ. face see your face we already have our face we already have our face we already have our face see your face you already have our face you already have our face oh no you love you already have our face you're the heaven of hell. 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 Yahweh see Yahweh Yod have Yahweh Yahweh Yod have a pain Yod have a Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh, Yod have a pain. 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 Yod have a 
above him. Not above him. Not above him. The Bible says, Listen. Listen. The Bible says, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Hebrew meaning of the name of the Lord is called Yahweh. And the mystical meaning of Yahweh is the four faces of God. That has to do with the lion, the ox, the man and the flying eagle. And that is the meaning of Yahweh. Yahweh in Hebrew is written YHWH or YHVH. Which is, the lion is called Yod. The ox is called Hay. The man is called Vav. And the flying eagle is called Hay. Yod Hay, Vav Hay. Which is Yahweh. Did you hear what I said? I would like you to bring your soul under the leadership and the government of Yod Hay, Vav Hay. Did you hear what I said? That is the name of the Lord. Yod he vav he Yahweh Yahweh Father we want to thank you for healing Thank you Thank you Jesus I see I see dark smoke lifting away from people's head I see memories of offenses and bitterness. You see them living. The healing balm that will come to our nation is that when we operate as a single body. The Bible says they gather together in the Acts of the Apostle. 120 as a, as a, as a quorum one accord of one heart if our soul is redeemed and our spirit and our soul and our body come into uniformity as one don't be shocked to see revival broke out here no i'm not joking if there will be oneness if 120 sparked the, the revival in jerusalem and an, an, in an Antioch, five people spark the next revolution. Five. Father, we surrender this conference. It's beyond us, is you. Ignite a revolution. Ignite what? A revolution. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Ignite an awakening yeah. ignite a revolution yeah. that sounds will emerge that will become answers to the questions of nations bring us into maturity that will no longer work with you by our tribal line and sentiment and division and 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 and, and, and ambition things that is not part of the alignment things that is not part of the kingdom take them off from our lives release us as this new army that by our lifestyle the empire of babylon that have been raised as structures all these years will collapse i didn't hear somebody say amen you didn't hear what i said the empire there is an empire called the empire of babylon we command its government in the church to crash let the imagine church of revolution let them emerge somebody say arise somebody shout arise somebody shout arise Somebody shout arise! Somebody shout arise! Put your hands together and give him glory.
Can go back to your seat. The Lord is praised. Give him glory. 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 Who is like unto you in all the earth? In all the earth. Who is like unto you in all the earth? In all the earth. Who is like unto you in all the earth in all the earth worship the king is like unto you in all the earth in all the earth oh one more time oh, in, in all the earth in all the earth in all the earth in all the earth in all 